So this is a simple toaster oven which uh, hopefully hopefully going to be used to make a few projects that involve SMD components such as the uh, Paduk programmer. First thing to do, get it unpacked. <laughs> Thanks Tarzan, that was great. Uh, so the oven will work fine, but we want to try and get some temperature control or measuring on it first. So I'm just going to start by making um, a circuit which actually measures the temperature. Along the way to hopefully controlling or at least measuring the temperature in a reflow oven, here is uh, an Atmega 8A, which is measuring temperature via this uh, thermocouple, and uh, it's fed back to a MAX 6675 module, uh, which in turn reports to the Atmega 8A. Then that temperature is pumped out, in this case, to uh, a TM1637 display, although I am pretty sure I'm going to replace this with an OLED display so that I can measure, let's say, the time as well as the temperature so that I can build up a profile of the oven and then perhaps even eventually have control mechanisms so I can select a profile. But right now, all we need to do is to see that this thermocouple uh, to module to Atmega 8A uh, reports the temperature correctly. So we have a temperature at the moment of 16 degrees down here in the workshop, uh, but we do have a gas gun. Uh, so I'm just going to put that onto the thermocouple and see what we get. So there's the temperature rising. So that's reporting it pretty well. And then I'll just let it cool from there as well. It should cool pretty quickly. But yeah, that's um, that seems to be working well. So next stop, I think OLED display. And, uh, and then we'll go from there and see what we can do in terms of measuring the temperature, if not controlling the temperature, in an oven. So out with the four-digit seven-segment display and in with an OLED. So there's some good news and some bad news uh, associated with this project now. Uh, let's start with the bad news. Uh, I swapped out the display, which was a uh, TM13, was it 1637? That's the four-digit display, the seven-segment display, uh, because I wanted to put an OLED in there to, well, firstly, show a little bit more data, like time and temperature, but also eventually perhaps it can be used to help select temperature profiles or turn the oven on and off or whatever it happens to be. So when I went to program the Atmega 8, a with that code, uh, it it just overran in memory, so it just wasn't enough memory. So even with this, uh, this is the Atmega 328P in there now, and that's uh, half full with just the monitoring that we're that we're doing. So um, yeah, a little sad. The um, the Atmega 8A was the original chip in the Uno, so I was hoping to recreate that. And I suppose there's a fork in the road here. I mean, you know, you could write those routines yourself. You could dip into Assembler. You could choose smaller libraries, you could, um, all sorts of different uh, ways that you could reduce that code. But ultimately, you're probably going to come up with the same problem when you go for the control side of things, because at the moment, this is just the measuring side of things. So, the Atmega 328. So, it's been fed 5 volts from here, and uh, also with the MAC 6675 module. And then that's, uh, that's this thermocouple here, which uh, currently, let's turn this on is reading uh, around 16 degrees. I've also got the time ticking away here, so the plan is to put this thermocouple inside the oven, turn it on and just see what happens in terms of the actual temperature profile, how fast it heats up, Does that depend, uh, is that dependent on you know, what, what setting it's on, etc, etc. And then maybe, even with that crew control, uh, if we've got some feedback via this OLED, we might be able to work out you know, what's, what, what temperature profile will suit the solder paste. So, yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, let's just see if that works. I'm just going to apply some heat to the end of that thermocouple. So, let's see, I'm trying to hit a sweet spot here. 
There we go. And it's going up fairly quickly. Hopefully the oven won't go up that high. Or that fast, I should say. And then it'll start to cool down. So, yeah, it's pretty accurate. I actually had it um, measuring on my wood heater. And I, um, I did check that with one of those handheld devices that you point to, uh, to read temperatures and it was, it was spot on. So I'm pretty uh, hopeful that, um, that this is accurate and then we might be able to work out uh, just exactly what the oven is doing and whether we need to actually maybe then add on some control mechanism to, uh, to control that oven in order to get that uh, pesky PDUC programmer uh, working. So that's the circuit working at this stage. My next uh, stage of this, I guess, is to put this on a PCB with sockets so I can pull out that chip and pull out the OLED and, and pull out the, uh, the temperature module um, to make it a little bit more robust for reprogramming and for use. So the next time you'll see this, hopefully it'll be a little neater and uh, it will be, that probe will be inside the oven and we'll fire that up and, uh, and hopefully get a result on monitoring the temperature over time. See you then. Just before I go, yeah, I just wanted to mention that the code for this project thus far uh, is on the uh, the blog, which you know comes up along the bottom of the video from time to time. Um, so if you want details and links and everything like that, go to the blog and uh, you'll find it there. And uh, yeah, so I'll uh, solder this guy up and uh, we'll um, we'll have a look at that oven, um, get some temperature profiles of this thing heating and cooling and I think we're right to go to have another crack at the Paduk program. Uh, catch you then.